Welcome to Raw Online. I am Dr. Venkata Krishnan, Professor of Medicine. So, we are going to discuss the basics of ECG interpretation and how to arrive at a diagnosis as simple as possible when you see a ECG in practice. Why ECG? If you see most of the neat based questions, two or three ECGs are definitely there. A picture is given, image is given with a scenario and identify the ECG. We can always think it is one question only why we should concentrate. It is four marks has a definite effect. Even one mark you may miss a lot of ranks. So, if you concentrate on ECG, I will make it as simple as possible. To discuss ECG, first we should know, have some assessment of, of yourself. This is a pre-test where we should know what are the basics, very important basics. It should be for a UG and a PG. Even if we read as a PG or a consultant, ECG has to be read as if we do not know anything. We are start from the basics, see all the waves, not that seeing now this is the diagnosis. It should not do like that. What we should know is what is a normal ECG paper speed, normal QRS axis, normal QT interval, how do you measure PR interval in ECG, AV nodal tachycardia is white complex tachycardia, true or false. The next question is, first degree heart block in ECG is manifested as ST elevation in ECG occurs only in MI. Is there any other causes of ST elevation? Which artery supplies no AV node? The most often asked questions must know question. What is the supply of the conduction system? SA node, AV node, what is the blood supply? Anteroceptal MI is manifest in ECG again. All should know MI and ECG manifestation. Non ST elevation MI in ECG is manifested as. How is a non ST elevation seen in ECG? We will learn ECG as fast as possible. It should be useful for the beginner also. 12 leads, all we know, 3 leads augmented limb leads and precordial, 6 precordial leads. Eindhoven's triangle, the position is different which is in relation to the axis of the heart. Normal impulse conduction, sinus node, AV node, bundle of his, bundle branches, Purkinje fibers. What is the importance of this? As a it is a pacemaker that is sinoatrial node is the pacemaker, SA node is pacemaker because you should know impulse conduction, the rate of in impulse conduction or is uh, the impulse conduction that is automaticity. Each tissue in the conduction system has specific heart rate that is automaticity. When the heart rate is higher than the others, it becomes the boss that is SA node is the pacemaker because it fires more impulses than the others. Starting with SA node, here it is 62 and above around 80 it can fire, AV node is 40 to 60, below is 50 and Purkinje fibers is 20 to 30. What is the importance when SA node fails? There comes the problem, arrhythmias try to start. So, SA node fails, the next in line which has the maximum heart rate, impulse production takes over that is AV node, AV node fails, blow over, all take over. Then nothing is working, only the Purkinje fibers in the ventricle is working, total chaos and any type of ventricular arrhythmia can be seen. That is what is the significance of knowing the conduction. This also we all know. If you see PR interval is SA node to AV node. AV node to bus bundle of his and Purkinje fibers QRS this we know. But what is this atrial depolarization? 
it is not contraction as a you switch on the fan rotates but the rotation of the fan is not the ecg it is the electrical conductivity from the switch to the fan that is the ecg manifestation it is the atrial depolarization qrs is due to ventricular d d for delhi depolarization st segment and u wave st segment is due to ventricular repolarization and where is the atrial repolarization it is not it is buried in the qrs complex it is not c so we should know the important waves p q r s t p wave atrial depolarization i discussed q r s ventricular repo depolarization t wave ventricular repolarization pacemakers of the heart this is what we should know sa note 60 to 100 beats usually 60 to 80 the maximum is 100 when it's more than 100 is tachycardia less than 50 or less than 60 is bradycardia ab note 40 to 60 ventricular cells 20 to 45 So what is the significance? If there is a ventricular rhythm, means the rate will vary from 20 to 40. But the AV node rhythm, it is 40 to 60. The rhythm, I am sorry, arrhythmia is different from the normal rhythm. SA node is not functioning. Only AV node is functioning. The heart rate will be different. The ECG paper speed, we know it is 25 millimeter per second. So 25 millimeter per second, one, two, three, four, five. big boxes so 25 mm per second so each big box is 0.2 inside the big box there is a small box that is 0.04 these are all basics why again i am reiterating is this we should know to calculate the duration of each wave each small box is 0.04 0.2 by 5 0.4 seconds what is one vertical box is voltage it is 0.5 millivolt one large box is 0.5 millivolt one small box is 0.1 millivolt this vertical height this is 0.5 and millivolt 